April 19th, 2013. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next week, we will be taking the OAA tests. In this short morning edition of WCCL, we will be covering test tips to help us all relax and do our best. But first, a few morning announcements. Attention to all students. Thankfully, the weather is getting warmer. Please remember dress code guidelines. Shorts must be fingertip in length. Shirts cannot be sleeveless or cannot be transparent. No sandals without backs are allowed. Questions? See Mrs. Thibodeau or Mr. Hellickson. Box tops challenge time. We are having a stuff the bag contest at Claggett. Your home base teacher has a bag ready for you to fill with box tops. The home base which brings in the most box tops will get a donut and juice party. The home base, bring in your box tops now until April 30th. Please write your home base teacher's name on the bag or envelope you use to send in your box tops. And today for lunch, Kaylee has it. All right, we have turkey sub, lettuce cup, baked beans, fresh veggies, assorted fruit, and milk. To continue with our Who Are You Really segment, let's learn a little bit about our assistant, pri assistant principal, Mrs. Thibodeau, who was interviewed by Megan Sensi. Hi, Ms. Thibodeau, after the school, when you're not here at Claggett, what do you like to do to spend your free time doing? Well, like I said, there's probably not a whole lot of time I'm actually not at Claggett with all the fun after-school activities we have, but I do love spending time with my one-year-old daughter, Bree, and she keeps me very, very busy. I like to read. I like to get together with my friends. I do like to golf. Obviously, can't do that right now when it's 20 degrees outside and snowing, but those are the things I like to do in my free time. Cool. Where did you grow up, or where's your hometown? Well, actually growing up, I kind of moved all over the place. I was born in Chicago, and then my dad's job moved us around. So from Chicago, we moved to a city in Southern California called Oceanside, and it was right off the beach. It was really yeah, neat. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And uh, from Oceanside, California, we moved all the way across country to Connecticut, where actually right outside of where Yale is, we lived there for a while. And then finally, my family, we moved to Toledo, Ohio, where I finished up from eighth grade on going to school. It's a lot of traveling. It is a lot of traveling, a lot of moving. When you were young, what was your dream job? Or did you always want to be involved with schools? My dream job actually has always been to be involved in schools. I can remember way back when my mom actually bought me my first easel and it had a chalkboard on it and I would make up like math problems and I didn't even know what I was doing. But it, my dolls thought I was very smart, that's for sure. <laughs> if you could choose anywhere in the world to travel to, where would you go? And I don't know if it's this time of the year because it's been so cloudy and cold, but I'm thinking definitely somewhere tropical, like Bora Bora or Fiji <laughs> or somewhere in the Caribbean. That would be great. I've never been to Bora Bora before, though. So. Cool. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Thibodeau. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Megan. OAA tests are required by the state of Ohio. Why? Well, we don't really have enough time for that, so um, let's focus on what we really need to do to help Claggett. Hey guys, uh, yeah, it's me again, Jack. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you for everything that happened last time with the video. I got a lot of good feedback from that, and I was really happy to have that, because I wasn't really having the best day in the world, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, people told me, actually, that I'm supposed to do three skits. Actually, I didn't do that last time, because we were just kind of in a rush. But I'll be sure to do that now, actually. Uh, I got them all right here in my notes, so, uh, I'll be real happy to do this. Uh, I'm sure you guys know what happened in Boston a couple days ago. It was really sad. It's a real big tragedy. Uh, I know people outside of our school are probably never even going to see this video, but um, I'd just like to say this is dedicated to them. Uh, I'm just real happy that I can make people laugh at our school, and I was real happy to see that.
if anyone outside of here ever even sees that, that'll be real happy. That make me real happy, you know. I don't have any flowers with me, so I know a lot of people like that. But uh, sorry, no flowers this time. Uh, okay. Uh, the computer is up in the library. What's up with those? You know, they're actually pretty good, but they're actually slow sometimes. Like I remember the first two years here, they were like tortoises. They were just slow. Uh, we could really use some new computers up there. You know, like maybe Apple's. Like the one we're using right now is an Apple computer or laptop, and it's really good actually. We just use that to edit everything. It's really awesome. I just uh, we, we could really use some more better computers up in the library. I uh, hope we get that soon. So next week, be well rested, have a good breakfast, and we will see you for testing. And with that, we will say our quote for the day. We make the world we live in and shape our own environment. By Orson Sweat Martin. With that, have a great day. The Quiet Way. way.